I'm back with these. Uh, first of all, let me just say, it was a real struggle trying to find these noodles, okay? I went to four different stores. Um, the first store I went to, I'm looking, I'm looking. There's a dude in the aisle, he's stocking up all the ramen. <clears throat> And he just keeps staring at me, and I'm like staring, waiting for him to move. So I leave, and I go look around some more. I come back, he's still there stocking up stuff. So I don't want to be in his way and be like, or like bother him. I wanted him to be able to do his job. And not worry about me trying to find these noodles. And so, he, um, after a while, he's just like, can I help you find something? And I'm like, yeah, I'm looking for these noodles. And I show him the picture. He's like, oh, no, we don't have those. He's like, we're all sold out. Um, apparently, there's something going on in Korea or wherever these are manufactured. Um, and, you know, like, a lot of stores are out of them, like, completely sold out. Um, and so he's like, listen, don't even bother looking because they're just gone everywhere. And I'm just like, no, like... So I just, I was going to scrap the whole idea and uh, just do something else. But I went to four other stores. The last store, I finally found them. And there were a lot. There were, well, not a lot, but there was a good amount. Uh, all the other stores, they were out, nowhere to be found, no sticker where they should have been, like nothing. So if you don't already know, this is a Korean uh, spicy ramen not really a challenge because I'm only doing one pack right now uh, let me know later if you want me to do another one <laughs> with all like as a real challenge but for today I'm just trying it I heard they're really delicious and really spicy the reason that I'm only doing uh, one is because I got some more stuff in store for you for this video so um it's gonna turn into a little bit of a Korean snack food video um, just from a bunch of stuff that I picked up mostly chips and you know just junk food basically I do have some water here set to the side but I'm gonna try not to utilize it I'm actually really hungry and these just smell good like Smells, they smell spicy. Um, it just comes, you boil the noodles and then it comes with the sauce packet. So you boil the noodles, drain the water, and add the sauce. And then um, it has some seaweed seasoning um, that you sprinkle on top. But, man, look at it. It's so hot. The noodles are really thick. If you've never uh, seen these before, the noodles are super thick, way thicker than uh, your standard top ramen or, you know, cheap ramen noodle that you can buy here in the States. So that's good. I'm sure the texture is going to be amazing. They smell like chicken flavor. They also, you can smell the spices. All right. I'm not even prepared, like, mentally. I haven't even prepared for this. So, hopefully it's not that bad. Alright. They're hot. I already feel like I'm starting to sweat, but it burns going down. Tastes so good, though. Oh, okay, so this is the first thing that I've eaten today. Well, I had like a half a sandwich. 
but I could feel the burn go all the way down to my stomach. It was crazy. I'm gonna regret this later, if you know what I mean. But there's a nice chew to the noodle. Oh, sweating. There's a nice chew. They're very thick and it's very pleasant. Like it tastes really good. I'm going to dedicate this video to my buddy Iro. <laughs> Sweating. He, uh, he recommended that I do this. Mmm. Everything's just tingling. I will say this, to be honest. It's not as hot as I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought it was going to be unbearable. Ugh. It's just cleaning out all of my sinuses. Ugh. This is delicious though. Like this brand is very good. I need a I should try more. If you guys know any um different noodles that I should try, um Leave a comment to which other flavors. It's like as soon as you... <clears throat> as soon as you put it in your mouth, it just burns your tongue. And it's confusing too because you don't know if it's hot because of the heat or hot <clears throat> because of the spice. I'm just trying to finish this because I'm sweating like all around my mouth. But I have a treat for you guys after this. More of a treat for me because it's gonna kill the burn. It's like it's affecting my hearing, like, I can hear better. Yeah. <sighs> 
burning my stomach. It's very tasty. Very good flavor. That, oh, it's just, it's definitely burning more now that I'm done. There's how many more? Four. Four more. Hit those likes. Hit those likes. Let's see. My lips. If I get. I'm gonna say 500 likes on this video. <sighs> Hot. 500 likes. I'll eat all four at once. Without, you know, I won't edit obviously. But yeah. 500 likes. Actually, we'll say 530 likes. Because there are 530 calories in one pack. That is amazing. That is awesome. Only 530 calories? Sodium. Woo! -hoo! That sodium, though. 1280 milligrams of sodium. I just ate, and I'm about to eat more, but times that by four, I'll do that. So, we have these. I've always wanted to try these, you guys. You don't know what it is. It's an ice cream, which I deserve right now. These are Salmon Co. It's salmon shake. Still burning. It's ice cream. In the shape of in a cone. The ice cream's in the cone that's in the shape of uh I'm assuming it's supposed this is supposed to be salmon. And it vanilla ice cream with red bean. Now I've seen people do this in videos and I just always want to try it. Now these I had in my car the whole time I was shopping. So they're a little bit melted but So this is how it looks. 
I think this outer shell is supposed to be a little bit harder than it is, but like I said, it was Wow. That is delicious. You see the red bean popping out? That is so good. Mm. The outer shell got soggy. And it's still good. It's a very... Nice flavor of vanilla ice cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the red bean just takes it to another level. Cold. Man. If you've never been to um any other kind of supermarket besides an American one, they're missing out. So many delicious things. It's getting messy. Mm. Oh no. I'm pretty sure I ruined these from leaving them in my car for over an hour. But that tells you something right there. Because this is really good. I got these from S Mart. I got it from S Mart in Torrance. Basically flat now. Yeah. S Mart in Torrance, California. Delicious. See, I kind of want to fold it. Like a taco. Yeah, I did it. Yep. This is good. It's really good. 
All right, you guys, so now I've got my water here because uh, oh, so crooked. Stop, got my water here because my mouth is still burning. Just gonna have to let it burn. So now for the rest of the stuff. I am decided that I'm going to clap my hands like this, even though I do it every time I'm about to eat something, but that's just me. So, I got a bunch of chips and snacks. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. I don't know. I Some of the stuff, I know what it is, and I can explain it to you. But for the other things, I'm just going to look at the package and uh, guess. And describe it to you. So, first, I have these. By the way, everything came from a Korean store. I believe all of these are Korean snacks, but if they're not, please excuse me. Um, this is uh, chips. They're corn chips. They're corn snack chips in the shape of cones. Apparently, these are really popular. Everything that I got, um, I feel like they're pretty popular uh, with the Korean community. So, <laughs> I know I'm babbling, but yeah. These were recommended to me. They are, they look like bugles. If you've uh, had bugles before, American snack, they're exactly like this, um, the shape and the texture. And the flavor. Lightly salted, very crisp and light texture. You get that uh, corn chip flavor, but I believe these are an original flavor. It's just lightly salted. They say you're supposed to put them on your fingers, but my fingers are fat. There we go. Hey. This one's morphed. Mm. Really good. I'm missing two nails, but... Mm. That crisp texture is really what's the key to these. So tender. Oh. There you go. So that's these. I'm out. Next. <clears throat> I got these guys. A barrel. These look like Pocky. So it's a cookie, cookie stick, and it's coated with chocolate. And this flavor is the cookie stick. Photo with chocolate and it has almond chunks on it. And for this one is a cookies and cream, so it's a cookie stick. And then it has a like a white chocolate and uh, Oreo cookie pieces. So I'm gonna 
bad. So I'm expecting this to taste like a uh, Hershey's cookies and cream candy bar. It has a really nice, light crunch. And the cookie tastes like a butter cookie. And then it's coated with a white chocolate. A very, very mild white chocolate. Like, the flavor is not strong at all. It almost tastes like a frosting. More than a white chocolate. Which I don't really care for frosting. And then you also you can't really taste the the cookie pieces on it. So that one not my favorite, but still good. And this one, I'm a fan of anything with almonds or hazelnut and chocolate. Look at that; it's nicely coated. It's very thick. You see the, how thick the layer is versus the cookie. That's good. A very good chocolate, milk chocolate. The almonds are roasted, so you get that nice nutty roasted flavor with the chocolate. And then the cookie, of course, is just good. This is good cookie. This one, out of these two, this one wins in my book. Very delicious. Alright, what's next? I have... Alright. Boom. Boom. I did not know that these were a Korean treat. Um, it's called Choco Pie. Looks like a moon pie. A little bit smaller than a moon pie, but it's a soft cookie with marshmallow in the center. So two soft cookies, marshmallow in the center, and coated with, I want to say milk chocolate. You guys, my mouth is still burning. That's crazy. Yeah, milk chocolate. You can see the two cookies and the marshmallow in between. Mm. 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 So, I feel like it's less dry than a moon pie. Mm. Mm. I love the texture. It's almost it's gummy. Soft and pillowy, like when your teeth goes through it. Mm. There's no crunch whatsoever. Mm. Just a thin, thin layer. Um, milk chocolate um, biting into a cloud no really strong flavors more just like a vanilla and marshmallow flavor mm. the marshmallow has a little bounce back so your teeth don't go through all the way right away has a little a little give to it very good very good.
very good. Okay, what's next? This is called Ace. So, um, I've heard that these are traditional. And then this looks like maybe a butter cookie with chocolate in the shape of a mountain. And then there's some mountains. So, it opens like this. And then you have these. Very interesting. Are they, are they different flavors? I don't know. I have these. When I opened it, it was this way. When I turned it around, look at very pretty and perfect. So it's just like a little, an eighth of an inch of a coating of chocolate on this biscuit. Hmm. Mmm. Chocolate. Mm. Chocolate is really good chocolate. The biscuit. It's more like a cracker. It's more crumbly. You can see. But um no, you can't see. You suck camera. Um Okay, so yeah, I'm not tripping. So I was gonna say, it kinda tastes like cheese. <laughs> kinda tastes like a cheese and chocolate cracker. So that's why I was looking in the ingredients right now. There is, in fact, cheddar cheese in the ingredients. And I don't know if it's in the chocolate or in the cookie, but it's all good. Mmm. It's a cookie. Mm. Mm. But that is a flavor that I've never tasted before. Was not expecting it. I'm not going to eat this one. I just want to see if it's a. Wow. This is like a strong, cheesy flavor. Oh, okay. This is him. This is a different uh, colored wrapping. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. That was really good. That cheese caught me off guard. It says cheddar cheese in the ingredients. So let's move on to something else that has cheddar cheese. These. Korean Cheetos. Now, I was looking for the Korean hot Cheetos. I couldn't find them. Um, but I found these. You want to know what these are? Well, just from the back. Back of the package it says, Cheetos, rich, sweet cheese flavor. More sweet cheese? I'm down. So, I 
feel like all of these snacks so far you have to rip it like that versus when in America you just pop it open. Smells like a white cheddar. They are a little bit lighter. Well, a lot lighter. Um, and the coating on here is definitely lighter. So it's whiter than the regular Cheeto. Um, and there isn't as much seasoning it looks like and it the seasoning is white also it smells very cheesy though okay mm. I like that it's uh very sweet and a slight hint of cheese more of a garlic flavor <laughs> so it's like a sweet garlic cheeto corn chip mm. i love garlic so Same crunch. Not as, if you can see, there isn't really any seasoning on my finger. But, mm. Oh, good. A plus. You go, sweet Cheetos. That's. I think I'm halfway done. We got these guys. And this is a peanut ball. Hmm. Peanut ball that has sliced cuttlefish, salt, and shrimp extract. So it's a little ball, looks like, with a peanut on the inside that is salmon. I mean, not salmon. Squid flavor. Smell very strongly of peanut. So the ball. Uh, looks like it's a cookie or a cracker around it. That is so crunchy, and it's so good. It's really good. Mm. I like peanuts. I don't like peanut butter. I know. This is, oh, this tastes just like peanut butter crackers. Like the little crackers that come in a pack of six. Um, it has peanut butter in the middle. This taste, this has an aftertaste just like that. But it's much more pleasant to eat. It's so crispy. Like very tender to bite through. So crispy. Maybe it's just a peanut inside. I tried to bite it in half so you guys can see it. Mm. Let's try again.
Mm. Okay. Yep. When I did that, I can taste the. That's. There's a fishy flavor there, but. It's good. Now. Next. This. This. Mm. This is a. Okay, so there's like a little something on the back that I can read, but. And that's what I've been going based off of. This is. A rice pie. So it's. Chocolate coating on something that looks like a marshmallow and then it looks like there's chocolate on the inside. But if I'm not mistaken, I think I remember them saying that Phew. I think I remember them saying that it's a uh, mochi. Oh my gosh it's super soft just by I like I could squeeze this right now if I wanted to just by barely like pinching it it's so soft so I'm assuming this is mochi chocolate covered mochi okay wow what A hundred percent mochi right there with chocolate on the inside. Hmm. I love the texture. Hmm. I don't love the chocolate. <laughs> if there was another flavor, I would dig it, but too chocolatey, I'm gonna say. But the texture is so good, I don't wanna stop eating it. I gotta stop. That's good though. A plus. Yeah, two chocolate. Go with this now. I've seen these around before. I've just never eaten them. And I didn't know that they were Korean. It's a crunchy rice roll. Product of Korea. White rice, sugar, corn syrup, and agar. Can't be disappointed with four ingredients. I just have to take it as it is. Okay. Oh, but. Crumbs. I don't have any pants on, by the way. I'm in my underwear. I just got home from a long day. Don't judge me. I mean, it's good. Doesn't really taste like anything. It's like something you give a baby to eat. It's puffed rice, puffed toasted rice. It's not crackling and popping. Hear it? It's sweetened and it's good. Um, I This isn't something that I could see someone craving like, oh, I wish I had a crunchy rice roll. But 
I mean, so far, everything is delicious. Honestly. I haven't had one thing that I was just grossed out by. But, I'm not done. This next thing. Is something that I've had a few times. The real version. But, I bought the chip version. I cannot pronounce this right if you paid me. But it is. Check your boki snack. So basically, what this is like the real version is just a rice cake with like a sweet chili sauce. And they usually put it on toothpicks. I think that's what this. Yeah, and then put sesame seeds. This is a chip flavor, I mean chip version. Uh, corn snack. It's very deep red. Doesn't smell like anything whatsoever. Oh yeah, I can kind of smell. Kind of smells like the sauce. Wow, that was a journey that I just took. A flavor journey. So at first, the texture is just really hard. Like harder than I was expecting. Very crunchy. It's hollow on the inside. It's sweet. Sweet. It goes, the flavor notes go sweet, sweet, savory, spicy. And it is... Pretty darn good. I like that. Surprising. Next chip. I told you guys I had a lot of chips today. Um, only two more though. This one and another one. Crab chips. I mean, I feel like it's self-explanatory. Uh, wheat, starch, wheat flour. And so it's just a regular chip. And I'm assuming they, it has crab extract and dried shrimp. So, and kelp powder. So I'm expecting a fishy smell and taste. No, it doesn't really smell fishy. Kind of looks like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Mmm. That's good. Salty. Has a shrimpy. Flavor, seafood flavor. Mm. Very uh, like a puffed texture, crispy. Has little ridges on here. I mean, it's a light coating, a little specks of red. Mm. I feel like I've had these before. They kind of taste like chips, basically. Mm. Um. Okay. Oh, God. I have two more bags of chips after him. This one. This one is the one that's always recommended. Onion flavored ring. Now, I've had Funyuns before, so hopefully, 
You know what I've noticed? They fill up their bags. Koreans like to fill up their bags. They don't give you half. Shaped like a ring. It is a... I already can tell it's going to be light. Smells less oniony than Funyuns. Mmm. It's less intense than a Funyun, but it actually tastes like a real onion. Mmm. It just tastes like a, a yellow onion. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes so much fresh. It doesn't taste like processed crap. Mmm. Even though it is. But, you know what I mean. Next. I liked the picture. Not gonna lie. That's why I got it. And it says May my soul mate be my soul mate. Be my waffle mate. So I'm assuming I think these are just like waffle cookies. Let's open it like that. Oh, there's two. Three come in a pack. Mm. So it's a waffle. It's waffle press for sure. Oh. Very strong smell of honey, which is ironic because of the next thing that I'm going to try for you. But it's fairly thin, maybe a sixth of an inch. Honey scented very strongly. Toasted, hard. Let's take a bite. Hmm. Hmm. That is decadent. You definitely need a cup of tea with this. It's very rich, buttery. It's like a butter cookie with honey. <sighs> I'll go to sleep. It's so good. Nice vanilla, honey, butter flavor. Very fine crumble. It's good. Woo! All right. These last two things I'm actually the most excited about. So, just wanna let you know. Last two, I think. There's a mountain of stuff here, so I, I'm pretty sure it's the last two. But, most excited about these two so far. Um, one of them has been, well, was in very high demand when it first came out last year. Um, sold out everywhere. I actually only saw this at, I was looking for this at all the stores that I went to today, but I only saw it in one store, the last store. Um, and then the next thing is just so foreign to me. That's why I'm very excited. Um, plenty of cultures eat this particular item, but I've just never, uh, had a chance to. And so these are the honey butter chips. These were sold out in high demand they came out in august of last year and i mean look at the packaging already isn't that just cute that is cute honey butter chips honey butter is delicious anyways but when you put it on a chip i can't even imagine how freaking oh, smells so rich smells Regular potato chip, thin like a uh, classic Lay's, um, 
There's some specks on here. It looks like maybe like a parsley flake. And very lightly coated. I mean, I don't see any seasoning actually besides a few like salt grains. Uh... Yeah, parsley, honey butter seasoning, I don't know. Has a slight honey scent, not as strong as I was expecting. Shut up. guys this just tastes exactly like honey butter it's very buttery like a buttery flavor very strong buttery and sweet like honey like real honey I know that it's called a honey butter chip and I'm surprised that it's you guys may be surprised and I'm surprised that it tastes like honey butter but things never taste like how they are supposed to taste and not so literally like this just literally the chip is lighter and crisper than any lays that I've ever had in my life more perfectly shaped mmm bro no winner mmm mmm Salted, sweet, savory, buttery, potato, all of my favorite flavors. A plus. And for the final thing, <laughs> you guys probably knew this was coming. A roasted seaweed snacks. Vacuum sealed pack. I mean, it feels like jerky. I got barbecue flavors because that was basically the only flavor that they had. Little strips. Oh, <clears throat> strong uh, ocean flavor. Oh, okay. They're stuck together. So they're very tough. Um, just assuming this is just gonna be like a beef jerky, but fish. Very fishy smell. It doesn't turn me off, it's just interesting. There's no barbecue flavor. Hmm. Hmm. Don't you get into it? It's pretty good. Um, just tastes like shrimp. This is a perfect way to end the video. Um, give me a like, subscribe.